بسم اللہ السلاۃ والسلام علی رسول اللہ و علی علیہ و اصحابی اجمعین السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ہاؤ آر یو الحمدللہ الحمدللہ ائی ایم آلسو ڈوئنگ گڈ لیٹس سٹارٹ اور 12th lesson بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب یسر ولا تعسر وتمم بالخیر وبك نستعین یا فتاح یا فتاح یا فتاح ان لیسن ان پریویس لیسن وی لرن اباؤٹ حرف اف سوری ا ضمائر لائک پرونون ان اینڈ ان ٹوڈیز لیسن وی ار گوئنگ ٹو لرن فریگمنٹ اف حرف اف ج Uh, this is also called murakkab jari and murakkab jari or fragment of uh, harf of jar is uh, the uh, a combination of one ism with a harf so so uh, like we, so far we have learned two uh, uh, two fragments fragment of idafa and fragment uh, masuf fragment of masuf sifa both are ism uh, is uh, ism combination like uh, fragment of idafa two isms are combined together fragment of uh, masuf sifa two isms uh, are combined together but in this uh, fragment fragment of harf of jar the combination is that of one ism with the harf of jar so that's why it is called fragment of harf of jar like one component is harf of jar so that's why it's it's called fragment of harf of jar first word in this combination is a harf first word so in this combination first word is a harf while the second word is an ism first word is harf jar and the second ism which uh, which is in the uh, jar status always when whenever i sim uh, an ism combines with a uh, harf of jar it is always always in jar status that's why it's called ism majroor so harf jar combines with this ism and that ism is ism majroor this harf of jar is an amil like it it uh, acts on the word coming after so it's an amil agent that makes the following ism into jar form in other in other words whenever an ism follows a harf of jar it immediately changes into jar status the ism majroor comes just after the ism majroor comes just after harf of jar like in a sentence if you see an ayat or a, an arabic sentence the ism majroor comes just after harf of jar no long distance relationship in murakkab idafi uh, the fragment of idafa we learned that uh, both uh, mudaf and mudafale they come in succession but in the fragment of uh, masuf sifa the long distance relationship is uh, like is is there there can be a long distance relationship in in the fragment of masuf sifa but in uh, idafa and in this combination the one that we are learning today in in both of these combination like uh, fragment of idafa and fragment of harf of jar these two come uh, one after each other okay so wh- what are harf of jar harf of jar are specific har- uh, huruf in arabic that make the following ism jar and there are total of 17 harf jar in arabic however only 11 of these are there in the quran so the, in the whole quran part uh, we see 11 harf uh, harf of jar huruf of jar so what are they they are, uh, these are here uh, like you can uh, you can say after me like try to say after me so that you uh, are uh, you become familiar with the, with these and try to memorize like this ba ta ka la ba ta ka f lam waw min fi an ala hatta ila 
just repeat it. Ba ta kaf lam wow min pi an ala hatta ila. Ba ta kaf lam wow min pi an ala hatta ila. Ba ta kaf lam wow min pi an ala hatta ila. So that's how. Do ba comes with kasra b. Ta comes with fata. So the, uh, like these are specific. The specific sound attached to these haroop b and ka uh, comes with fata. La uh, comes with sometimes la, sometimes li. So uh, so the uh, just to memorize, you can say ba ta ka flam wow min fi an ala hatta ila. So ba ta ka flam wow min fi an ala hatta ila. So these are eleven harfja. Meaning wise, these uh, these harf of ja, they are comparable to uh, prepos prepositions in English, uh, as you can see over here in this chart. Like with with is uh, yes preposition. For is preposition. From, in, away from, to towards upon again. On. So these are preposition, but not all of uh, these meaning wise are preposition like swear uh, and this oath. So not all of them are preposition, but like uh, to some extent, these harp of jar are comparable to prepositions in English. So B means with Bismillah, with the name of Allah, Bismillah. Ta, uh, ta means to sw uh, swear. Tallahi. And it, this is a very strong oath. Strong, uh, uh, like, strong uh, oath. Yes. Ka is like. When uh, you compare something, when you say that something is like that, so ka is that herf. Li is for or have. Like lahu, uh, sometimes li is uh, uh, li, uh, li uh, like in li khalidin, and sometimes is uh, it comes with fata lahu. When when it is attached to pronoun, then it comes with fata lahu ma fis samawati wal earth. Everything that is in on the earth, uh, in the earth or heaven, belongs to him, Allah subhanahu wa taala. So lahu. Wow, like wal asri, watini. Wow is a uh, harp of jar for oath. And then min means from, fi, fi he, in it, in, about, un. Again, meaning uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes it is, uh, it, it gives a uh, meaning of about, sometimes away from. Ala, uh, sometimes upon, sometimes on, and sometimes against. And hatta until and ila to towards. So ila al maktabi towards library. So these are the meaning of half of jar, 11 half of jar. And here are some important points about half of jar. So we just learned what are half of jar. We learned the meaning of the half of jar, 11 half of jar that come in uh, Quran. And now we are going to discuss some important points about half of jar. It's imp so first is, uh, remember in uh, pronoun, we also uh, learned the attached pronoun ka. Singular uh, masculine pronoun for um, for someone over uh, over there. So ka is also a pronoun and ka is also a harp of jar. So it is it is important to distinguish distinguish between the harp of jar and the attached pronoun ka. The harp of jar will all sorry this is miss uh, mrs spell uh, this is half of jar o not p 
So the harf of jar will always be attached to the beginning of an essay. We know that the combina uh, the fragment of harf of jar, the harf of jar comes first. So harf of jar, if a calf is a harf of jar, then it will be attached to the beginning of an ism. And it will make the ism majroor. While the attached pronoun is always attached at the end of a word, like rabbuka. Rabbuka, your lord. So over here, this is pronoun because it is attached to an ism and it is attached at the end of the ism, at the end of the word. So this is pronoun. And the harf of jarka always comes in the beginning of the word, like kashajaratin, like, like, like a tree, like a branch. So when, okay, so this is one, one thing, one important point. The second important point is uh, about la. Uh, like it can come like li, it can come as la, la uh, lam with fatha. So when, when it is attached to a pronoun, the lam is pronounced with fatha, la. Otherwise it is li, like li khalidin. For Khalid. So, Li Rasulin. For Rasul. But when it is attached with a pronoun like whom and kum, then it becomes la hum la kum. So, uh, this lamp uh, takes fata when it is attached with pronoun. Now, the third point. Mm, this La, uh, uh, the same lam, li, for uh, the same lam should also be distinguished from the lam of es em emphasis. And lam of emphasis is uh, also called lam taqid. And this lam is, uh, is uh, not an agent, like it's not an amil. So lam taqid doesn't make the ism after uh, that in the jar status. While if it's a half of jar, then, then the half of jar, if, if any lamb is a half of jar, then it definitely would make the following ism into jar status. Like lana, like this one is half of, this lamb is half of jar because it is, na is the attached and the jar form of V, right? And la nahnu, nahnu, we know that this is rafa form, independent form of V. So nahnu is rafa form. So la nahnu, so this lam is not harf uh, jar. This lam is lam taki, most certainly. La nahnu, most certainly V. Okay, so these are three points. First point is about ka harp of jar and ka pronoun. The second point is for lam when it when it is attached to the pronoun, then it becomes uh, it takes pata. And then again uh, the lam which is harp of jar and the lam which is not harp of jar but the lam of emphasis. So we need to distinguish between these two also. Now the fourth point, which is wow, wow which is about wow, half of the wow. So looks the same as the connector wow, but the half of the wow makes the following is majroor. So if it's a, a connector wow, like uh, with the meaning of and, connector wow, uh, the meaning of connector wow is and, and the meaning of uh, vow, which is half jar, is there uh, when uh, taking an oath, like wal asri, what by by uh, by the tree fig, what by the tree of fig. So, uh, and the other vow, which is connector, it, it means and. 
So the distinguishing point is that again, because half of jar makes the following ism majroor. So one asri, asri is in jar status. So this vow, which is with wal as, asri is half of jar. Then comes the fifth point about min and an. When, when min and an are attached to ma, they are written as mimma and amma. So noon over here, noon over here is uh, there, there is idgham. So after idgham, it is written as mimma and amma. And then when attached to a pronoun, uh, the, the sixth point, which is about ala and ila. Ala and ila, when they are pronounced uh, with, when they are attached to a pronoun, ala, alaikum, alaihim, alaika. So when they are uh, when they are attached to a pronoun, then they are pronounced with ya, this ya, like ilaika. Alaikum, alaihi. Otherwise, this ya is not pronounced. If they are single, like ala, this ya is not pronounced. Ila, ala. But when they are attached to pronoun, then they are, uh, pro, uh, pro, uh, the, this ya, they are pronounced with ya. Like ilaika, alaikum, alaihi. So these are some important points about half of jar. And these are some examples from the Quran. Before we go to uh, learn these examples, let's, uh, hold on. let's uh, do some exercise from Quran, like wal asri, wal asri, well, Asri, over here, vow is half of jar. Why? Because the uh, the ism that is coming after it is in Madhru. Then over here, then we have fi. Fi, fi, again, fi is half of jar, and the ism that is coming after it is in jar status. Husrin. And then B, 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 Bil Hakki, Watawaso, Bil Hakki. So B with B, B Hakki. Then Bis Sabri. Again, Sabr is in uh, Jar status. Okay. Then, uh, and with Bismillah, we also, uh, also have B. In the name of Allah, Bismi, Bismi, Ismi is in again Jar status. I'm looking for the um, fee, yes, uh, half of Jar, Fil Hutamati. So, fee, half, half of Jar, Hutamati is Majru. The moment uh, we, uh, we see uh, half of Jar, the, the ism that follows always ja, fil hutamati. Ala, ala, ala al afidati, ala al afidati. Fi, over here it's fi and fi amadin, amadin again jar status. So these are some examples from uh, from the Quran and yes and this is from access uh, notes and these are for, uh, examples from the Quran so bil mu'minina with the believers tallahi by Allah and it's a strong oath a strong uh, like eaten a straw, ka, ka aspim, ka aspim makul, ka aspim ka 
is the harp of jar over here. Lakum and for you. Lakum dinukum waliyadin. Lakum. And because this lam is coming with the pronoun, that's why it's taking fatha. Lakum. Well, Asri, we just saw that I saw it by the fleeting passage of time. Min, min anfusikum from fil qisasi in just retribution. And an, an regarding about yes, aluna ka anil anfal, they ask you regarding the spoils of order, war. So, an is regarding or about. Now, uh, more examples from the Quran, from the same notes. Allah wa ala lahi fal yatawakkalil mu'minun. And upon Allah, the believers should place their trust. Allah, Allah. Hatta, hatta as a harp of jar uh, um, uh, came two times in Quran as a harp of jar. Hatta matla il fajr. One time in the uh, Surah, um, Surah Qadr, and then Hatta Hina. Hatta Hina until a time. Ila, Ila, Yahdi Ila Rushdi, towards what is right. Ila Rushdi, towards what is right. So in two form, Hatta came. Hatta Hina and Hatta Matla El Fajr. So these are some examples. Alhamdulillah, we uh, learned, uh, uh, like we, we learned the lesson 12 and we did the exercise also, examples from the Quran. And further uh, practice and exercise, inshallah, we will do in the interactive session. So for, um, till the next lesson. Uh, Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.